Hey, DVR Tech here to have a little fun today installing VMware on Threadripper. So up until the latest version of VMware, it wasn't supported to use the threading solution that AMD has implemented. So people have typically had to disable uh, the additional threads that are gained with SMT. So we are going to install here VMware 6.5 U1 on a Threadripper 1950X. We are using the ASRock Tai Chi board using the 2.0 BIOS. We're gonna flip through and review several settings that need to be set in order for VMware to work. The first of which is SVM mode. We need to enable that to turn on CPU virtualization. Now we need to cruise back and go to the Northbridge configuration to turn on IO, MMU, and SR, IOV, which allows pass-through of certain types of devices that support virtualization. Now let's be sure to go ahead and save our settings and exit so that we can build our installer real quick and then install ESXi. So head over to VMware.com and download the 6.5 U1. I grabbed the driver roll-up download. Once that's downloaded, we're gonna launch Rufus and we're going to go ahead and put this on a USB thumb drive. Okay, with our installer made, let's go ahead and boot up and select our thumb drive to start the installation process. Now the boot up time was two and a half minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and accelerate that in this video so you guys are gonna watch this fly by very fast. But as you're doing the installation, it takes about two and a half minutes to boot up. Now, if you're familiar with ESXi, we're gonna go through some familiar steps, most of which is hit enter. So let's go ahead and hit enter to continue. And F11 to accept and continue. Gonna scan and look for our drives and devices. We're gonna install it on a second USB thumb drive. So we're gonna come down and select the SanDisk USB cruiser. Just again, hit enter to continue. Now it wants to select a keyboard layout and enter a root password. We're gonna go ahead and enter that and start the installation process. Now the installed boot up process still takes about two minutes. We're gonna go ahead and speed that up for you. There you have it, we have our IP address. We can just pull up our browser and browse to the ESXi webpage. Here we can see our AMD Ryzen Threadripper 1950X 16 core processor running ESXi 6.5 U1. You can see I don't have a ton of RAM in the system. I only have 16 gigs, so there's not a ton we can do with it, but let's go ahead and peek around at a couple of things. One thing I know I'm interested in is if we can pass through video cards. So let's go over to the PCI pass through and scroll down. And yes, it looks like it does give us an option to select our graphics cards and uh, turn them to pass through mode. So let's go ahead and pick. It looks like we can pick the card itself. We're gonna hit pass through and this will take effect after reboot. So now we can see on the right there, it says enabled. Now I'm gonna just format one of the drives as a data store and we're gonna be ready to start setting up a VM. So let's say I wanted to create a VM miner. We could go and do that. I forgot to select the guest OS. Let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to go with Windows 10, 64 bit. There it is. And uh, there you go. We select our disk and we can decide how much RAM and hard drive space and so on. And start booting up the VM to install Windows. 
If you enjoyed this video and you want to see future follow-ups, please remember to subscribe below and we'll look forward to your comments.